shepherd, I'm content with that. Yeah, that's what it means. He's enough. Yeah, that's it. The Lord is my shepherd. See, we got too many people don't understand it. They say, oh, I shall not want. That means all the money I want, all the houses I want, all the cars I want, all the women I want, all the clothes I want. No, no, no. That means He's my shepherd. He is sufficient. I'm satisfied with Him. Come on. Amen. Oh, my goodness. I told you I was wound up. He is my shepherd. Yes. And I don't want nothing else. Amen. Oh, I could preach this morning. He said, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Listen to what it says then. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Now he's talking about the valley. Yeah. See, there's rest to be found in the valley. Right. Amen. Amen. What's that song we sing? What does it say? A place of rest for my weary feet. This valley is for me. Amen. A far cry from the mountain scene. The grass here has been made so green. Uh, my shepherd chose this route so I can say without a doubt this valley is for me. He maketh me to lie down. I can give me some rest in green pastures. Yeah. Not some dead grass. Amen? Amen. See, the shepherd never takes his sheep somewhere where the dead grass is at. he got to find them somewhere to feed. Amen? Uh -huh. He's got to find them somewhere where the grass is green. Uh -huh. Where the grass is healthy. Amen? Uh -huh. He leads us in the valley. Right. And He lays us down. Brother Bill, we can get some rest in that valley. Amen? Amen. You can't get no rest on the mountaintop. You're too busy jumping up and down and shouting. Right. <laughs> Amen? Amen. You're too excited. You're like Brother Willie was yesterday, dancing on top of the picnic table. Oh, Amen. Right. Got to bring you down, slow you down. Uh -huh. Sometimes you got to slow us down. Sometimes in the valley you get slowed down. Yeah. Because you think, oh, what's going on? Come on. Amen. Got to slow us down. Got to get us some rest. Yeah. Listen, some people never pray if they never hit a valley. That's right. Really? You hear what I said? Yeah. So, read over there how Israel acted. Mm. The Bible says when she waxed fat, she kicked. Meaning when she was on the mountaintop and everything was going good, she rebelled against God. Yeah. That's the church. Yes. Right. Amen. It takes I, what Brother Mike preached on here Tuesday night about prayer. Mm. Amen. We don't have any trouble praying when all hell breaks loose. Wow. All right. Nobody had any trouble praying whenever the, the, the airplanes hit the Twin Towers. Right. We had congressmen standing together hand in hand yeah. singing, come by here, my Lord, amen, and amazing grace, and oh God, be merciful unto us, till they forgot about it. Yeah. Then he went right back to their lying, cheating, stealing, whoremongering ways, amen. I hope some of them out there is watching this this morning. Amen. They went right back living the old ungodly lifestyle that they were living before. Come on. Because see, it takes sometimes a valley, right. a trial, a hard spot in the road to get somebody to pray. Right. So David's teaching us something here. He said, He leadeth me beside the still waters. Amen? Easier to drink out of still waters. Right. And not only that, if you've ever been around where still waters were at, mm -hmm. they really act like a... I mean, it, it, it's sort of like a mirror. Right. If you look into still water, you can see your reflection. That's it. Amen? That's it. He leadeth me... See, you'll see things about yourself in the valley you had never seen on the mountaintop. Amen. If you hadn't hit that valley, Sister Cindy, and started complaining, you'd have never known you needed to deal with that. Right. You'd have walked around thinking, well, glory to God. I done overcame that old fleshly complaining thing that I used to do. Yeah. So God has to let some sandpaper rub you the wrong way. Amen. Look in that mirror. Mm -hmm. Look in that and get a reflection. Hey, that's who I am. Yeah. My goodness. See, you got to reveal to us a little bit at a time. Because if he jerked the covers off and showed Bill Willis who Bill Willis really was, he'd probably have a heart attack and fall over. If he took the covers off me this morning and showed me everything inside of me that wasn't like him, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't handle it. I couldn't handle it. So he has to allow it to be shown to me a little bit at a time. Come on. And we find these things out in the valley. Amen. I'm telling you, all things work together for my good. All things work together for your good. Amen. All things. Yeah. Every valley you go through. Every trial that you face. Every yeah. torment that, 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 that you go through. Amen. Is, is, is something that will work for your good today. All right. God will work it for your good. Amen. This is one of those days. 
Hey, Brother Billy, you're going to preach too long. Will I see you next Sunday? Bye. <laughs> he leadeth me beside green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. Yeah. There's restoration to be found in the That's valley. It. Amen. Amen. There's restoration to be found in the valley. Yeah. How many people could use some restoration this morning? Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. A place of rest for my weary soul. Amen. Hallelujah. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Paths of truth. Paths of holiness. Then He says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? For Thou art with me, Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Which we have learned the rod of His Word and the staff of His promises and His provisions. Right. Just like then how they would take the staff and they would carve in where God had done things and God had moved in miraculous ways oh. and they would encourage themselves with that. you got the same thing today with you. Amen? Right. If you feel like you're going through the furnace, you can look over there and see what brought the, the Hebrew boys through when they went through the furnace. Amen? Amen? If you feel like you've been through in the lion's den, you can read over there about old Daniel and realize this ain't no strange place. God done been in the lion's den before and He shut the lion's mouth and He brought him out without a hair of his head being harmed. Amen? We can go through these things. Right. And we've got a rod and a staff today to comfort us. Come on. Amen. Come on, Listen, that's the only place you'll ever find true comfort is the Word of God. Amen. You can have loss, and I can do my best. You can lose a loved one. I can do my best to console you, mm -hmm. to hug you, to cry with you. Yeah. The fanciest words that I can speak won't comfort you like God's Word. That's right. Amen. That's the truth. True comfort is found in the Word of God. Amen. He said, I will not fear no evil because thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. There's comfort to be found in the valley from His Word. Because when I'm in the valley, don't, don't let me lose you. When I'm in the valley, His Word tells me all things. When I don't understand things, His Word tells me all things. When it seems like things are bad, His Word tells me, yeah, but all things. When I don't understand it, yeah, but... All things. Whenever I don't like it, oh yeah, but all things work together for good to them that love God and the called according to His purpose. Amen. I can't tell you the times that I've been... Listen, I've been saved for a lot of years. Amen. It ain't always been roses and everything cheery and everything. Amen. And, 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 and matter of fact, there's probably more times that it been than it has been. But the times that I've been going through things, I can't tell you the times that I've stood in the darkness of the valley and I've said, God, I don't understand it. I don't like it none either, but I know, I know, I know that Your Word says all things things work together for good to them that love God or the call to His purpose. Amen. All things work together for my good. Hey, Brother Billy, you talk to him like that? Sure I do. He's my daddy. That's right. Amen. 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 He's my daddy. Amen. Oh, I treat him with reverence, respect, and fear. Uh -huh. That's why you need to treat your daddy. Right. Amen. True. Amen. But I also know I can talk to him yes. That's right. heart to heart. Yes, sir. He understands my weakness. He understands my fear. Amen. He understands my questions. Amen. He is not a God that cannot be touched with the infirmities of man. Yeah. Amen. He walked this life. Uh -huh. He dealt with people one on one. He understands yeah. you better than you think. All right. And you might as well tell him he knows you're thinking it anyway. Come on. Hey, Lord, I don't understand it. Mm. Oh, but I know what your word says. Yes, sir. I don't understand it, but I know what you've promised me in your word. Amen. Oh, it do us some good. Listen, we're going to need to stand on these promises before we get out of here. Yes, sir. Amen. Whenever they begin delivering us up, if we don't get out of here first, they begin delivering us up like they are in these other countries, you know. Yep. Saying if you don't forsake Christ, we fix to torture you. You're going to need some of these promises to hold Amen. on to. Amen. You're going to need to know what the back of the book says. Amen? Yes, sir. Now, if you ain't got one, you better buy one before you can't find one. I'm talking about the King James Version. Amen? And get a hold of the Word of God and learn it for yourself and know that you know that you know that heaven and earth will pass away, but God's Word will remain forever. Forever. Come on. And you can count on His Word. Yes, sir. You may not be able to depend on my Word. Yeah. Amen? I try not to let you down, but I will sooner or later. I may not be able to depend on your word. I know that you wouldn't for anything yeah. let me down. But you will sooner or later. All right. But God won't. Amen. Amen. That's true. Oh, He ain't never done me nothing. But done good. me nothing but good. Come on, Amen. Sing it. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. What else did He say? 
Thou preparest the table. Listen, he's still in the valley. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. There's food to be found in the valley. Yes, sir. Oh, honey, I'm telling you. There is food to be found in the valley that will put meat on your bones like nothing you'll find on the mountaintop. Yes, Amen? Yes, spiritual. There is spiritual food to be found in the valley. All right. He said right there in the presence of my enemies. Come on. The wolves are circling around. Right. <laughs> Hallelujah. The lions are lip licking their lips. I'll get that out in a minute. That's a tongue twister. Amen. They're licking their lips. The enemy has surrounded me. Yeah. Excuse me, fellas. God's prepared something for me to eat. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. God has put a table before me right in front of my enemy, right in the face of the enemy. God has put a table in front of me for me to eat off of. Amen. And He's prepared that and He's got that ready and it's there for us, but we can't see it because we're too busy looking at the That's it. enemy. Yeah. We're too busy looking at the lions, the wolves, the devils, the demons. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Biting what, what we got left of our fingernails or gumming them, amen. Come and we're worried about what's going on. And all the time, God said, Hey, look, look, look. I prepared something for you. I've got some strength for you. I've got some spiritual nourishment for you. For you to get. I've got some nuggets that you'll find in the valley. Amen. My God. Oh, my goodness. Say it. Them old prospectors, you know, they get out there and they'd be, they'd be looking for that gold uh -huh. that came down from the mountain yeah. in the stream, amen. Down there along the valley floor. Yeah. There's some nuggets, honey, that you'll get in the valley. You won't get nowhere else. All right. God's word will take on a whole new meaning to you in the valley. Amen. When you're in the valley of the shadow of death, God's word will take on a whole new meaning for That's you, Brother right. Bill, than it will when you're on the mountaintop. Come on. Amen. Come on, say it. You ain't you ain't proving nothing when you pound your chest and blow that wind when that don't sound good, does it? Whenever you blow all that hot air whenever you're going on the mountaintop. That's it. You ain't proving nothing to nobody. That's right. Everybody can shout on the mountain. Right. Devil won't see how you act when you hit the valley. Mm -hmm. Come on. God won't see how you act when you hit the valley. Yeah. That's Amen. Right. You ain't proving nothing to him when you shout on the mountaintop. Yeah. Come on. He won't see how you see if you're doing he's shouting in the valley. Yeah. Yeah. It's in the valley he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Yeah. All right. I ain't even gonna get to where I'm going this morning. Thou anointest my head with oil. There's a fresh anointing in the valley. Yes, sir. My goodness. My Lord, I tell you what. My cup runneth over. <laughs> Ain't that good? Yes, sir. He don't just give me enough. He runs it over. That's it. You get some stuff in the valley. See, when you went through the trials and the turmoil and the things of life and the, the, the things that you went through, Yeah. you come through that with a cup running over. Ain't just enough for you, but it's enough for you to share with somebody else. That's it. Hey, you know what happened? Come on. When I was in the valley, yeah. when I went through that, God moved in a mighty way. You begin to share your testimony with somebody. Your cup is running over. You can tell them how you was in the lion's den and the Lord shut the lion's mouth. You can tell them how you was in the fiery furnace and when you came out you didn't even stink like smoke. Hallelujah. You can tell them how that whenever you stood before the Red Sea and Pharaoh's army was behind you that God split it from side to side and you walked across on dry ground. You can testify because your cup is running over. Tell somebody how God brought you through. He fills my cup, but He don't just fill it, brothers and It's running over. Come on. And we're still talking about the valley. Yes. Amen. And listen to what He says. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You mean His goodness and mercy follows me even in the valley? Huh. What yes. David said, all the days of my life. Good day, 